The immune system protects our body against external challenges, particularly from bacteria and viruses. It also protects us against internal threats, for example, tumor cells which divide in an uncontrolled manner. In order to identify such threats, the immune cells wander in large numbers through the tissue. Here, in time-lapse mode, we see the T cells patrolling along the muscle fibers. Once T cells identify a tumor cell, they attach themselves in order to kill it off. This process can be more precisely observed in a cell culture. The video shows how a T cell eliminates a tumor cell. This process of killing often takes several hours and consists of several stages. The death is visible as rounding up of the tumor cell, followed by dynamic blebbing and disintegration. The animation shows the course of the damage. First, the T cell releases cytotoxic proteins. Perforin forms pores in the tumor cell membrane. Granzyme B penetrates through these pores into the interior of the tumor cell. At the same time, calcium also flows in. This makes the pore formation visible under a microscope. Granzyme B activates nucleuses, shown here as flashes of light, which cut in the DNA and the cell nucleus into pieces. The tumor cell counters by attempting to repair the damaged DNA. The DNA repair protein 53BP1 is involved in this. DNA repair zones are then visible as characteristic hotspots. If the damage to the DNA is great enough, this leads to the death of the cell due to complete fragmentation of the DNA and the nucleus, also known as apoptosis. Using time-lapse microscopy, we can see that the T cells can hit the tumor cells with several attack impulses in the course of the contact. Each impulse, akin to an injury, leads to varying degrees of calcium influx, visible in the video as a bright phase in the tumor cell. Here, the tumor cell collapses after the third impulse and disintegrates. The immunological tumor defense is particularly successful when T cells cooperate in the case of high cell density. This is then known as an immunologically hot tumor. Here, a swarm of T cells is busy with a network of tumor cells in tissue culture. The T cells perform a thorough job. After 23 hours, most tumor cells have been destroyed. Although tumor cells regularly form in us, as a rule, these are identified and eliminated by our immune system. This efficiency in our immune system is an important reason why we so rarely develop tumors.